Now on its own this product class doesn't really do much, it's fairly useless. What we can do in order to make it more useful to us is we can actually give it properties. So properties are like variables which belong to a class and you define them like this. So it's like creating a variable except you need to precede it with a visibility keyword. And the visibility keywords in PHP are public, protected and private. We'll get more onto visibility as the course progresses. For the time being, we're going to keep life very simple and we're just going to stick with public because that will give us... Uh, public enables you to do more than when you start restricting visibility by making things private or protected. But don't get too hung up on that stuff for the time being. All you need to know is that uh, we're going to create a property on this class and we'll be able to do pretty much what we want with it. And so we'll just call this name so like I say it's like defining a variable and we'll give it a default value which isn't mandatory we don't have to give it a default value but it's just to show you how we would do that and so we'll just call this soap so we have a product with a name of soap but remember this is still only a class at the moment this is still a blueprint so let's go ahead and actually create an object from it again so this time we'll call our variable soap object equals new product and then we can access the name property off of our soap object and we use do that using something called an object operator which basically looks like a right arrow let me show you what i mean and so what we're going to do is we're going to actually print this out so print soap object and then it is hyphen right uh, angle and then the property name which in our case is name but notice that we actually do not include the dollar sign so when we define it we include the dollar sign but when we go to access it using the object operator the dollar sign is no longer used so let's go and print this out and as you can see we get soap so in order to make this a little easier to read what we'll do is instead of seeing that percent sign on the end there we'll actually put a new line and that should get rid of that for us okay so we have soap and if we want to change that name you can do it in a similar way to which it is set so what we'll do is we'll print it out still and then we're going to take the soap object and using the object operator the name and then we can do an assignment and by performing an assignment it means we will actually change the name uh, property so instead of soap we shall have toothpaste and then I'll take that line and do the same thing there so we're going to uh, access the name and print it out then we're going to change the name and then we're going to access it again to prove that the name has actually been changed. Okay, and so we see soap, and then we change the name, and then we see toothpaste. So now that you've seen how you can create properties, now you can access them and change them, I'll set you a little challenge. So here's what you need to do. First off, create a price property on the product class and give it a default integer value. Okay, so an integer value, not a float, so total whole numbers. Uh, then access the price on the product, uh, product object and print it, just like the way we did with the name. Then what I'd like you to do is change the price, okay, and then do the same as what you did in step two. Access the new price on the product, product object and print it. So uh, with challenges, I'm going to keep them fairly simple and focused on the stuff that we've just learned. And I'd always um, encourage you to have a go at it because that helps you just remember or it helps solidify the knowledge which I've imparted. Okay, so give this a go. Right, so here's my solution. We need a price property, and then I'll give it a default value of 10. Okay, so that has taken care of step one. Then we need to access the price on a product object and print it. So first off, let's create a product object. product equals new product and then we shall print product price 
we use the object operator. And again, I'm just going to add a new line here so that it just formats it nicely in the terminal. And then we need to change the price. So if you remember, it's very similar to accessing it, except you also add an assignment operator afterwards, i.e. an equal sign, and then the new value. So product price equals, we'll now change it to five. And then we do the same, we just want to print out the new product price. So let's copy that and we'll drop that down there. Okay, so let's go back to the terminal and run this. Okay, and so we see 10 because that is the default value. We created a product, we access the product price, uh, which is a default value. Then we change the price to five and then we accessed it again, and so it printed out five, which is the new price. So I hope you're able to have a go at that. Don't worry about having to memorize all this stuff it's, if it's all quite new to you and you haven't touched it before, because we're gonna be repeating this stuff so often um, and carrying it forward into the next lesson. So as the course progresses, we'll learn new stuff, but we're all, we'll always be reiterating over the stuff that we've already done. So that by the time we get to like our 10th video or something, this stuff which you've just seen here, it'll be child's play to you, second nature.